You know, we just got 15 days ago and in, in, into the midterms, and incivility around the country is certainly getting way out of control. Republican Senate Leader Mitch McConnell confronted at a Kentucky restaurant. Uh, it's just the latest of his run in with protesters. This is hecklers confronting Democratic House Leader Nancy Pelosi in South Florida, cursing at her, calling her a communist. Uh, Jamu Green and Maddie Doppler are back with me. Uh, Maddie, let me start with you. Uh, you know, this. President Trump has coined the phrase jobs, not mobs. So, you know, he's pointing to a lot of these more recent incidents involving, like, Senator McConnell. I think this is his third or fourth one. They're, they're, oh, yeah. ug they're ugly to watch, and yet they are being promoted by a lot of people as, as an obvious approach in their minds to fighting back against the, the, uh, the Republicans. Uh, Charles, this is absolutely unacceptable. I don't care what side of the aisle you are. And for several reasons. One, I would like to know what these protesters think they're accomplishing. Do they think that they are actually getting a point across to any of these people with whom they disagree? But secondly, and more importantly, this country is founded on the notion that we all can disagree and we still get to participate in the great republic that the United States is. The fact that one side or the other wants to weaponize that, to hold it against someone they disagree with politically, is so unacceptable that I am amazed that we're seeing this behavior again and again and again. We need people to stand up and say that they will not perpetrate this behavior regardless of what their politics are. It's not okay. So I was up at 6.45 yesterday in the morning. I don't know why. <laughs> Just sort of channel surfing. And I stopped at MSNBC. They were talking about this topic. And I was really shocked because almost everyone in the panel, in my opinion, felt like they were actually promoting this kind of behavior. I just want to share a portion of it with you. I mean, he's getting away with murder, and net net, I think he thinks this is this is the worst he gets. It's fine, but this is such a made-up uh, problem. It, again, it is like Professor Butler said, it is the First Amendment, and there is a difference, uh, and it goes to something Dr. Greer said. People are doing this because there is no other opportunity or no other op uh, oversight. The Republican Congress has basically pledged fealty to Donald Trump. People are doing these things because it's all that's left. I mean, Jimmy, where do you come down on that, uh, the idea that this is the only way to get your point across? Look, I could not agree more with what Maddie said. This is unacceptable no matter what side that you're on. I believe that, you know, this is a country that was founded on civil disobedience, and that has a place in our politics. But what we're seeing when you've got a group like the Proud Boys, whose motto is something around, like, we will kill you. Um, when you have them attacking a woman, whether you like her or not, Nancy Pelosi, in, in a very scary situation, you have Antifa on the left. This is not who we are as Americans. And there's one way we can start to turn this around. It would be for the most powerful person on the planet, our president, to stand on a stage, maybe the one he's standing on in Texas today, and say something differently than he said in Montana. Instead of advocating for violence, instead of cheering and on some, some people violence, think he was joking, but he, I do want to ask what he wasn't joking. What, 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 violence what begets time? violence, and, I do want to and ask we're seeing you about, that come from the top. About the uh, role of the media, though, uh, do, you know, when you have a panel of experts, including a former Obama official, saying, "Hey, you know what? Mitch McConnell got away with murder with Garland." equating that to, hey, you know what, it's open season. Go after these people, whether they're in restaurants, whether they're getting in their vans. I mean, is there a role for the media to play in all of this? The media certainly has a role to play in this. I, I think it's, it's on two fronts. The media has been attacked by the president. He's cheerleaded violence against a member of the media. That is something that they should, should make the sure media, does not though, when stand. When you see a panel of, of, of all progressives suggesting that this is the only way that people have to voice their opinion in this country, not vote, not protest orderly, but to go after people in, 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 in places like restaurants, is that okay? That's irresponsible. It's not going to get us anywhere. Right. We want passion. We want enthusiasm. The more people who engage in politics, the better for our country. The way people are engaging right now, I think they're taking a signal, though, from the 2016 Trump that we saw start a presidential campaign. But again, I think that about... what it comes down to is people who have a platform need to use that responsibly. I yes. agree with you wholeheartedly yes. there, Jamu. And yeah. the notion that this is a country where we somehow have a closed opportunity for people is simply outrageous. We and have we, more we, opportunity to talk to our elected officials than anywhere else in the world. We have to leave it there, but I also worry about whataboutism as a justification for doing things. We, we're, you know, But ladies, thank you both very much. Always appreciate you. your commentary. Thanks, Coming up next, uh, why your local pizza deli delivery man may be replaced himself. Check that out. We're talking about drones, pizza, beer, whatever you want, you'll get it. Uber 